Hi there, welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the health giving properties of this, the lion's mane mushroom. Now you've likely already heard about the lion's mane mushroom, it really is uh, at an all time high in popularity at the moment, searches for it online have gone through the roof, articles all over the internet and of course loads of YouTube videos as well clocking up hundreds of thousands of views. Now if you check out the comments section in these videos they're absolutely full of people just talking about all the benefits that they're finding from taking lion's mane, decreasing brain fog and depression, increasing focus and memory and a whole host of other things that we'll come to in just a minute. There's also a whole load of scientific studies now backing up a lot of the claims that people are making as well. But before we go any further I should just say that there is a tiny proportion of people who when they take lion's mane mushroom actually experience adverse effects, things like increased heart rate or anxiety, headaches and even lack of sleep. Now this is common with you know any type of food or medicine there's always some people that have negative side effects so it's really just something to keep your eye out and watch out for and if you do experience them then just obviously uh, stop taking lion's mane and also start off with a small dose as well and you can just begin to uh, see how it works for you. Now that being said the vast majority of people who take lion's mane mushroom report great benefits from taking it and in this video we want to discuss those benefits and also look at some of the scientific studies that underpin them and provide some insight into how lion's mane perhaps is creating these benefits. We're going to be growing a wider range of medicinal mushrooms here on our new farm in the months ahead so if you want to follow along with that journey and learn more about it do please consider subscribing to the channel to join us in that journey. Now if you want to learn how to grow lion's mane mushroom we've actually created a whole separate video on that which I'll link to up here but there's also a bunch of different products on the market now as well, things like tinctures, capsules and powders. And we'll talk more about all these different forms in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at what makes this mushroom so special. Now, lion's mane mushroom has been used for centuries in Chinese medicine, really as a general health tonic, but it has some very specific health benefits as well. Lion's mane mushroom is known for generating nerve growth in the brain, uh, improving focus and mental clarity, reducing inflammation and boosting the immune system, protecting against cancer potentially, improving heart health and alleviating anxiety and depression. So we've seen that lion's mane can have all these benefits but an important aspect in actually receiving those benefits is how you consume the mushrooms themselves and there's a bunch of different ways and I'll discuss them now. First up is just eating the mushrooms themselves. You, you're going to get a reasonable amount of the benefit just from eating them. Now we'll come on and talk about why you might want to consider extracts instead um, but first of all eating lion's mane mushroom it's a delicious mushroom loads of different ways you can cook it you can keep it, cook it whole you know, like baked in the oven but our favorite way is just sort of slicing it up into little mini steaks fried up in butter garlic a bit of parsley and enjoy it on their own on toast or in pasta absolutely delicious mushroom to eat you also find people selling dried lion's mane in capsules or in powder form now if your main interest is taking them for medicine i wouldn't recommend uh, just eating dried lion's mane since some of the beneficial compounds in lion's mane they really need to be extracted either through hot water extract or alcohol extract and if you simply just eat the dried powder you're only going to get some of those compounds you're probably not going to have a high bioavailability of them if you just eat the, the dried powder so do watch out for that because there's a lot of people selling lion's mane supplements and it's actually just dried mushroom powder what you really want to look for is a extract and the reason for that is that a lot of the compounds in lion's mane they really need to be extracted in order for them to be highly available for your body to absorb. Now the two main ways that you'll see extractions is you've got hot water extracts they pull out a bunch of compounds and then you've got alcohol extracts and then ideally you want to have those two extracts blended together. Now that's called a dual extract and you'll see that in a different couple of forms. Our favorite is a tincture which is just a blend of those two extracts blended together in a dropper that you can simply just take under your tongue every day. But you'll also see it sold as a powder and I mentioned before you can get powders that come from the dried mushrooms. The powders that you want to be taken instead are dual extract which is then freeze dried and turned into a powder. So it's essentially like what you have in a tincture but it gets freeze dried into a powder format and you'll find that either in little jars of just the powder or sometimes that powder will then be put into capsules just to make them easier to take. Any of those methods, the tinctures or the dual extract powder in the form of a capsule, those are really the best method of taking lion's mane as a medicinal supplement. Another tip that I would give to you is to make sure that your extract is made from 100% fruiting bodies. Now that's just the, the actual mushroom itself as opposed to uh, the mycelium that is the root system of the mushroom. Now it has actually been shown that the mycelium of lion's mane itself has a lot of these medicinal properties but the problem is the way that it's grown it's usually grown on some kind of grain or sawdust substrate 
and it's actually quite hard to separate out that mycelium from the starchy material that it's growing on. So you'll see a lot of lion's mane supplements that are actually just mostly starch. You know, it's like the mycelium grown on grain then all blended up. So a lot of what you would be consuming would actually just be those starchy grains instead of the, the pure uh, mycelium. To keep things simple, it's easier just to go for extracts and supplements that are 100% fruiting body. Alongside that, I'd highly recommend uh, organic products because you really want to understand and know how those mushrooms are produced and if you buy from a certified organic supplier you can be sure that the substrate that they're grown on is completely safe and doesn't contain any heavy metals or anything like that that would obviously take away from the health benefit. Finally I would suggest if you feel like it tending to prioritize buying your supplements and medicinal mushrooms from smaller producers and growers who are certified organic as opposed to some of the really large companies I think you just have a little bit more of a sense of where the produce comes from. Some of the larger companies will be importing organic mushrooms from China, for example, where it's much cheaper to buy them from, as opposed to a smaller scale producer that's going to be growing and producing them within your country, who's got a extra level of care and attention perhaps to how they're producing them. So um, totally up to you where you buy them from, but that would be my recommendation. Alongside these tinctures and supplements, you'll also find lion's mane incorporated into a whole host of other products like you know, hot chocolate, into coffee, into energy bars, and this can be a good way to consume them as well. And if you go about consuming them like that, just have a look at the dosage and make sure you're actually getting a reasonable dose mixed in with the product. And when it comes to dosage then, that's an important point to know about. So if you're taking the dried extracts, you wanna be taking at the low end around about 500 milligrams per day, and at the high end up to as high as uh, two grams a day of the supplement. And with a tincture, that's gonna be one milliliter to two milliliters per day. But do remember what I said at the start, start off with lower doses and see how you feel before taking anything at a higher dose. So first up, let's look at one of the main claims that's made for lion's mane mushroom, and that's that it can generate new nerve growth in the brain. So there's a lot of excitement around this because there is the potential that it can help people who are suffering from various forms of dementia, such as Alzheimer's, for example. But there's also studies show that potentially there's a benefit for people suffering from MS as well. But first, I should just say a lot of the studies that we're going to be talking about today have been carried out on rats and mice in lab conditions and not that many studies actually carried out on humans at the moment. So we look forward to seeing more of that in the future and less of the testing of animals, which is something we'd like to see stopped. And maybe it's the case that with AI starting to be used in medicine a lot more, we'll be able to simulate the effects in the brain rather than testing them on animals. In any case, we're aware of one study from Japan in 2019 where lion's mane mushroom was used in a double-blind trial alongside a placebo. And out of 30 people that took part in the test, all of whom suffered from mild cognitive impairment, so that might be something like early onset of uh, Alzheimer's, those that took a regular dose of lion's mane extract showed improved cognitive ability after just one week, and this improved even more over the duration of the test. So how does this work? Well, firstly, it's down to lion's mane's ability to cross what's known as the blood-brain barrier. Now, if you've never heard of this, the blood-brain barrier serves as a really important function in our bodies, which is to screen our sensitive brain tissues from potential harmful toxins that are carried in the blood. However, whilst being a great protective barrier, it also stops many beneficial compounds from getting to the brain as well. And this is where one of the benefits of lion's mane comes in. It has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier, and that enables it then to do the good work that it does. And this is where lion's mane comes in. Not only can it cross the blood-brain barrier, but it has two important bioactive compounds that cross the barrier, heresinones and erinacines. And without wanting to get too detailed about all the science here, these two compounds have been found to help stimulate nerve growth factors, also called NGFs. And this has been shown to help both protect the brain from injuries and to aid nerve generation, also known as neurogenesis. Now, what the hell is neurogenesis, you might be asking yourself. Well, neurogenesis is the process in which new neurons or nerve cells are formed in the brain, and it covers the development, growth, and integration of these cells into our existing neural networks. So in simple terms, what this study shows is that by having these two compounds, lion's mane mushroom is able to help nerve cell growth, maintain nerve cell health, and reduce nerve cell loss, all of which help the brain's cognitive, motor, and sensory function, and are great news for anyone that's suffering from dementia, MS, or any other similar condition. So the second big claim that's often made for lion's mane mushrooms is that they can increase focus and mental clarity, and there are some studies that appear to back this up. Now, as a result of this neurogenesis that we were just talking about, it seems that lion's mane has the ability to help us grow new nerve cells in the brain, which increases the number of connections in the brain, as well as the speed at which uh, electrical signals can move throughout the brain, which seems to be what's behind 
increasing our ability to focus and have more mental clarity. So you might be wondering how it is that Lion's Mane goes about doing this. Well, it, we've already spoken about how Lion's Mane increases this nerve growth factor. And with that comes an increase in myelin production. Now, what's myelin, you might be wondering? Well, myelin is the sheathing that forms around nerve cells uh, all across the brain and spinal cord. And this sheathing allows electrical impulses to transmit quickly and efficiently along the nerve cells. So any damage or degradation in this myelin will slow those impulses down. And a good healthy layer of myelin is what's behind speeding up and increasing the uh, activity across those nerve cells. So that's how lion's mane appears to be increasing the speed and the uh, number of connections that are going on across those nerve cells. You can think of this almost as sort of upgrading your broadband, getting a faster connection. Now, interestingly, lion's mane has been shown to increase nerve growth in an area of the brain called the hippocampus, which is responsible for learning and memory consolidation. Now, another really interesting study when we're talking about focus comes from the Journal of Medicinal Food, which found in a recent study that children with ADHD who took lion's mane supplements for 30 days experienced significant improvements in attention and mental focus uh, when compared to others in a control group. Now that's really interesting because that study shows that lion's mane appears to increase attention and focus for people with ADHD and it's very likely that it has a similar effect for people who don't have ADHD as well. Now similar to focus and mental clarity there are also a lot of people who anecdotally are saying that lion's mane give them increased levels of energy throughout the day. So uh, there's not a great deal of studies done on that, but that's certainly something that people tend to experience alongside a greater focus on uh, clarity and mental focus. Now, reducing inflammation and boosting the immune system is another area where there's some studies showing that lion's mane can help there as well. The immune system and inflammation in the body are very closely linked. If there's an issue in our body, our immune system generates an inflammatory response, neutralizes the effect, and then goes back to normal again. Now, this short-term inflammation in the body is actually a good thing, but when it becomes chronic or ongoing state that we're living in, it can lead to a whole host of negative conditions that people experience like fatigue, rashes, lower back pain, stiffness in the joints, uh, fever, and it can even lead to ongoing autoimmune diseases, things like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, IBS, or psoriasis. So how does lion's mane come into all of this? Well, it was shown in a 2015 study in Japan to reduce the signaling in one of the main pathways that is responsible for creating an inflammatory response in the body. So essentially it is in decreasing an inflammatory response in the body. And on top of that, a 2020 study coming out of China showed that lion's mane mushroom was as beneficial at treating migraines that were caused by inflammation in blood vessels in the brain. It was as effective at treating that as uh, traditional pharmaceutical medicines, but it came with fewer side effects as well. So between these two studies, there seems to be a body of evidence starting to build up that lion's mane does have an anti-inflammatory response in the body, and this may well have a beneficial impact on the immune system just by simply helping to reduce chronic inflammation in the body and help to, uh, to moderate the immune system response. Another area that lion's mane mushroom may be able to help us with is in protecting against cancer. There's an incredible statistic that one in every two people is likely to develop cancer at some point in their lives. Now, lion's mane supplements have been found to slow and even potentially reverse the spread of several types of cancer, including leukemia, lung cancer, liver cancer, and breast cancer. Now, there's an interesting study, 2018, from Russia showing that water and alcohol extracts of lion's mane have been shown to have an inhibitory effect on gastric and colon cancer cells. And during those lab tests with mice, the mushroom extract was even shown to shrink cancerous tumors. One of the most exciting studies here involves uh, stage four cancer patients. And that's the phase of cancer that can occur metastasis, where the cancer spreads beyond the organ where the cancer originally was found. And in a Korean study where rats were given either hot water lion's mane extract or an ethanol extract, the rate showed inhibited metastasis of cancer cells to the lungs of 66% and 69% respectively. So it's certainly early days studying lion's mane for cancer, but it does seem to be the case that there can be an anti-tumor effect produced by it. Adding to all these amazing benefits, it does also seem that lion's mane may be able to reduce your chance of heart disease, mainly by lowering the levels of harmful cholesterol in your bloodstream. A study group in Korea gave lion's mane extract to test subjects once a day for two weeks. And at the end of the study, these subjects showed much reduced levels of harmful, low density lipoprotein cholesterol, as well as triglycerides, which are fats found in the bloodstream, versus those test subjects that weren't given any lion's mane they also showed a reduced cardiac risk factor. So 
This study seems to show that lion's mane has a beneficial impact on heart health. It reduces levels of harmful cholesterol in the bloodstream. Finally, one of the most popular reasons why people are taking lion's mane is to alleviate anxiety and depression. Now, more than one in five people in the US suffer from anxiety and depression, which that's a lot of people, and it's a horrible uh, thing to have to live through, of course. And scientists think that lion's mane may be able to help with that by increasing levels of dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is often thought of as the feel-good chemical in the brain. A 2018 Taiwanese study looked into the antidepressive nature of lion's mane on mice, and it showed that when mice were placed under stressful conditions, their dopamine levels dropped. Now, without changing the levels of stress at all for those mice, they were then fed an alcohol extract of lion's mane and their levels of dopamine stabilized, indicating that lion's mane was helping to increase levels of dopamine in them. Now, thinking back to earlier in the video where we spoke about neurogenesis, several studies have now also shown that lion's mane increases nerve growth in this area of the brain in the hippocampus. The hippocampus is responsible for regulating mood and is also highly sensitive to stress. And a study published in the Journal of Psychiatry and Neuroscience suggests that an increase in nerve cells in this area of the brain could be related to less severe bouts of depression and anxiety, as well as fewer instances of it as well. So we can see that lion's mane increases nerve growth in the hippocampus, and we also know that increased nerve growth in the hippocampus reduces depression and anxiety. So that's probably the mechanism here behind the experience that people are having. So we've seen here a whole host of interesting medicinal benefits that lion's mane mushroom can have. And you can see, I think, why it's one of our favorite mushrooms. We're gonna be growing a lot of lion's mane here at the farm in the months ahead, alongside other medicinal mushrooms, things like reishi, cordyceps, turkey tail. So do subscribe to the channel if you're interested in learning more about that in the months ahead. We're gonna be sharing a lot more stuff, both on our YouTube channel here and inside of our online course community as well. In any case, thanks a lot for joining us today. I hope you found this interesting and we'll see you in the next one.